so this is my paper product section so I have this humongous package of toilet paper I've had this for quite a while um, and now I do have some smaller packages here these three things are toilet paper and then I have one pack of uh, paper towels that are partially open and then another one and I think oh there is another one underneath there I didn't realize I had that one now I did have a package of toilet paper that a friend of mine she needed toilet paper and she couldn't find any so she ended up getting some for me now um these napkins and these tissues um I recently bought these they weren't really on a sale necessarily I just wanted to stock up on these things because we go through these and apparently people are now wiping their butts with tissues and napkins when they run out of toilet paper. So it's hard to find even this stuff at the store right now. So I went ahead and grabbed these while I was able. Um, yeah, so these are the paper products. I've not like super, super stocked, but we are, we're good for a while on toilet paper. <laughs> so this is my little cleaning product area. So I do have lots of toilet bowl cleaners, some shout lots of Clorox and Lysol wipes and before anybody thinks anything I bought these before everyone was hoarding Clorox wipes these were on sale probably back in January at Wise so I picked up several of those um, and they're definitely coming in handy now I do have three of the scrub and bubbles bathroom cleaner and then right there on the right is some floor cleaner Mr. Clean that's my favorite and then a um fabric softener now I do have one of these pods side pods but um, I keep them up just in case we would get water in the basement uh, I keep those up off the floor so I do have those but my mom will probably end up getting those for me pods are not my favorite um, I use them if I need to but I prefer liquid detergent so this is my dryer it is up on a pallet because of water um, but these are the products that I use currently so we got fabric softener um, gain and then a um unscented detergent for my kids my kids aren't sensitive to detergents really anymore so um i probably don't need to buy any more of that so i got two things of shout a couple things of dryer sheets one thing of bleach which i really don't even use on our clothes and this is all the detergent that i have guys which is really shocking um for me if you're not a key punter you might be like oh my word why do you have so much detergent but um, I really could definitely start stocking up on detergent anytime. I've just had so much of it that I wanted to use it up uh, before I bought more. Um, but anyway, I got two kids now, and um, some some weeks I make and do like six loads of laundry um, between my husband's work stuff, bedding, all that kind of stuff. So anyway, um, I really love Persil, but I haven't been able to get that really cheap. There, when it first came out, we were getting it for like 99 cents, which is amazing. But anyway, so this is all my detergents, and then I got a few stain removers there in the back. But I could definitely start doing some more laundry detergent deals for sure. I do have a few baby products here. Um, my children are getting older, so I don't really need baby products that much. But I still put lotion on my toddler, which I probably don't need to anymore. It's just... A habit for both of us but anyway um, a few things of baby wash um, I probably won't be buying any more baby wash unless we have another baby which we're not planning on it right now so anyway um, yeah here's just our small stash of baby care products so this is my little air freshener bin um, I had gotten some of these on clearance I don't even know if I included them in hauls um, but anyway these some of these for braces I've had for a long time hopefully they still even smell but, um, yeah, I really like the Airwick ones. I think they actually smell better than the Febreze ones. These actually only work for a couple days, I think. But, you know, if they're going to give them to me free or if I got them on clearance for, like, 50 cents, I go ahead and get them. They're nice to throw in, like, little gift baskets. And we really like these car things, too. But it's hard sometimes to find deals on those. So this is my little toothpaste bin. I got this bin at Dollar Tree. This is something new that I added to my stockpile just a few weeks ago. Uh, probably like a month or two ago now. But anyway, I picked this bin up at Dollar Tree because my toothpaste kept falling off the shelf. Um, so anyway, we like Crest. That's like our favorite. Crest and the Colgate Max. So I try to keep those a little separated. But I don't keep a ton of toothpaste. 
Um, it, it takes us like three weeks to go through a thing of toothpaste. So a lot of my toothpaste I get, I put in my um, gift basket bin to give to family and friends at Christmas. <clears throat> so we got extra toothbrushes and a few extra things of floss. And then our mouthwash, we keep extra upstairs in our bathroom. And then um, some extra down here, but we are getting a little low on that. So this is my like feminine care bin, which it's so full of stuff, guys. I really should just, I don't know what, but I told you guys in my last stockpile video, I told my husband, like if something happens to me, um, you won't need to buy like this kind of stuff for my daughter. She'll be good for like a couple years. And he just kind of laughed and she's only three. So um, anyway, I do hand out some of this stuff, but this is kind of like people are weird and they don't really want to ask for this stuff. And I don't really want to give it to them because I don't know what they like. But anyway, um, this stuff won't go bad, so I don't feel too bad about it. Now, I did throw these things in here um, just because I didn't know where else to put them. But these they gave to me at the hospital. These aren't really necessarily going to be used for, like, feminine care. Um, but I like to have these in case one of the kids would get hurt. Or we would need an ice pack um, that could be wrapped around, like, a, an ankle or something. So I did put those in there. Um, but anyway, yeah, those are really, they work really good for after you have a baby. So I'm sure they'll work really good if, um, somebody would injure themselves and we would need some ice pack. So I'm not going to dig down through here. We got tons of tampons and liners is mostly in here. I mostly keep the pads up on the shelf, but, um, yeah, anyway, so that's what's in there. So here is the one bin that I have on top of my shelf. It's just mostly lots of razors, um, yeah, and some razor blade refills, but uh, I keep like the good ones in here, like the ones that are actual razor handles, and then they, they have like maybe one cartridge. Um, we're kind of getting away from the disposable ones just because I feel like they don't shave as well. So my father-in-law actually, my mother-in-law will ask me for these occasionally. So um, anyway, she'll probably end up getting those. And I just, I don't know why this is in here, but apparently I have a Germex wipe in here, but I'm probably going to be taking that with me when I go upstairs, um, just because I've been going through the wipes while I'm out shopping. So this is my current diaper storage situation. Um, I'm trying to get my son out of size fours because he's really a little bit too um, big for him now. So we only got three packages of size four left. Um, we do, I think, have two. Yeah, there's one here and then there's one back behind these wipes. Um, packages of pull-ups that I'm kind of working into and then we got all of these baby wipes here so I keep what he's currently in under his bed and then I'm gonna go over here and show you what I keep his next size diapers in so this is my son's little co-sleeper I keep his shoes and some other things in the top part and I use the bottom part as diaper storage. Now, I do have a few sixes. I'll try to pull out these diapers. I have a few packs of sixes, but a lot of those over there are fives. Majority of the diapers in here are fives because um, that's the next size that we're going to be going into. Um, I really like Pampers on my son over Huggies. So a friend of mine told me she would really like to buy the Huggies off of me. So that works, but I'll probably need to still stock up on some fives. So beside his bed, I do keep the boxes of diapers that I have, but most of the diapers that I buy are actually packages. Now these size fours are all empty. I do, um, I actually have these three stacked up to keep his monitor, but I do put like clothes that he's too big for. Um, I package them back into baby boxes. That way when I see a baby diaper box in the basement, I immediately know that it's baby clothes. And um, that way I don't go looking for writing on the box if I'm not looking for baby clothes. Now these two boxes down here do have size 5 diapers in them. So um, those are my only boxes right now of diapers that I have. And this is my daughter's bed underneath her bed. I still have a few packages of diapers. I got four size 5s under here. So what I'm probably going to do is put all the size 6 underneath her bed. And then move these fives with the other one. And then um, she does have a little bed skirt. So obviously you can't see diapers when you come in her room. She doesn't even wear diapers. Um, but anyway, I got to utilize what space I have. So anyway, so that's all the diapers that I have. And hopefully my next stockpile video has zero diapers. Because um, hopefully my son will be completely out of diapers and potty trained by next year this time. 
I hope. I don't know, but I hope. <laughs> so this is under my sink. Um, I do have to space out my stockpile because our basement has other things stored in there as well. So I keep Lysol wipes, Lysol can, which this I take out with me in public and spray my cart. People laugh at me, but anyway. Um, I have a little bit of dish soap and then this huge thing, but I am halfway through that. Um, so hopefully we can get some dish soap pretty cheap. Um, but anyway, floor cleaner. And then here's all my little hand sanitizers that I've been taking out with me. I should probably actually lock those in a safe somewhere. Um, but anyway, and then my hand soap. And like I showed you guys down in the basement, we have humongous hand soap refills. So I'm not really worried about running low on hand soap. We've been spending a lot of time at home anyway, instead of out and about. So hand sanitizer isn't a big thing for me to have right now. I much prefer um, soap and water since we're always at home. So guys, that's it for my stockpile tour. I know this is up super late since I filmed it in March and it is now almost August. But I did want to get that out for you guys. Um, so thanks so much for watching. Like I said, this was part two. So um, part one, I will put a little card up and link it down in the description box below. If you haven't seen that, um, go ahead and check it out. So thanks for watching my video, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one.